Hi everyone, this video will show you how to simulate the microwave absorption of the material with metal backplate. Okay, so they have metal behind the absorber and here we'll show you the S parameter result and compare with calculation, the formula that we have using the formula that you usually saw in those journal or some article. Okay, so you were familiar with all this formula and I will show you how to use MATLAB to calculate to get the S11 result of your refractivity. Okay, so you can refer to here the absorption, you can get it. It's near to 11 point something, so let's put the marker. Okay, 11.346. So from the MATLAB calculation, you can see here we, add, we can get it like negative 40.7 db at 11.49 gigahertz so this is the difference between the calculation and the simulation but the result is very near okay let's start how we're going to simulate this and i will explain the formula later so to simulate this we just go to the file and then new template And you choose on microwave antenna click on next and then next time domain uh, in dimension in milli and gigahertz for frequency then next and then here will be like 8.2 i'm using like 8.2 to 18 gigahertz okay and next okay so wait for a while So first we're going to create a metal blade plate behind. So the metal blade plate here we are using like iron and the material of the MUT we are defined by ourselves. So first we create our metal blade plate. Just click on the brick here, then press escape and then the So let's say we design like 50 cm and another 50 cm S4 and Y. Then the thickness will be like for the metal will be like let's say 3 mm. And then we can load the material. Just search for iron. Okay, it's like high enough the conductivity. So it's fine. Just load. And then preview. Okay. So okay, so this is our iron. So we can just check on the material here, metal black plate, and we can change the color of the iron to become like gray color. Okay, then we are going to design the MUT. So we just click on the pick face here, and then model. MUT and then the same size just click plus with 4 that means uh, it's like 4 mm okay so our MUT will be like 4 mm here with the metal plate so we're going to create a new material so the new material we're going to like this version here click on this version and then click user you define by yourself so I have my own material here so you can refer to here we i have my own dietary material properties so using your dietary probe or any dietary material measurement that you can obtain the real part and imaginary part okay of the dietary properties so i will load this file into cst just load so load the file just careful with the unit so you can see from my file here, my unit is without gigahertz. So I'm going to choose in giga. Okay, then just click open. Some maybe they are double entry, just click OK, they will skip it. Okay, once done, you can see it's until 18 gigahertz here. And 
here is like 8.2 so you can see like the real part will be like 3.2 and the imagery part will be like 2.29 and until like 18 gigahertz will be the real part will be 2.7 and the imagery part will be 1.79 it's like loss factor and dielectric constant here so just click on okay so apply So after you click OK, so you can see the new material have defined here. So this is the material follow our dielectric properties file that we load inside and then they will automatically do the fitting. Okay, so the system will automatically do the fitting. So this one is like order one for the fitting. So we just press OK to create the M MUT. Now we have the MUT with material 1. So let's say we have like our component here. The matter here, we need to remove the big face. Just press on D. And then we choose on matter, so it's iron. And our MUT now is material 1. So this is our material that we define. And we need to check on the thickness of the material. So we just check on the thickness. Okay, so it's. 4 mm here. Okay, next. Next, we're going to define the boundary condition for the micro absorption. So just click on simulation and the boundary condition here. And then choose the S min will be the electric field to zero and the S max to electric, electric to zero and y will be the magnetic and z will be like open okay so done just press ok then you will have the boundary condition like this okay so you will have like the h field and the e field and then you can just go to the background here click on the background make the distance of the port for simulate so let's say the distance is like we make it like 50 apply it okay this is like for the bad side so we are not doing this we are need to in front of the MUT so we make it 50 here just apply okay then press OK and then create the waveguide the plane wave for the simulation so we choose on the waveguide port here then choose like z axis then choose negative and we're in front here and the wave will propagate to the material here and bounce back from the iron okay the metal plate then press ok okay now we have the waveguide port and the material with metal plate okay then we're going to check our frequency range so the frequency range is 8.2 to 18 gigahertz and then the material is done so this is the material you also can change the material name let's say we change it to rename MUT okay so this is your material and your directly properties of the material will be here okay now we're going to run the simulation just press setup so work and then choose negative 40 or 30 is fine for this case just press start then wait for the complete simulation Okay, so once complete the simulation, okay, the simulation is done. Then we go for the S parameter here. You can check for the S parameter result. So now we have the S parameter result. We can just put on the marker, choose the minimum. So it's like 11.346 for this case. Now we know our reflectivity for this material. Okay, so you can see like they have like negative 10 dB 
from 16.5 and 8.5 roughly okay that means like 90 percent of absorption so here will be the best absorption will be like 99.998 percent because it's like negative 48 i will show you the calculation for this later how to find the micro absorption okay so before that i will show you the MATLAB first the MATLAB code will be here and then you can see here is like first they have like three column actually one two three i mean the first one will be the frequency so you can see the first one frequency will times with 10 power of 9 because gigahertz and the second column here will be the real part and imaginary part that means the dietic constant and the loss factor here we have the second column here the imaginary part and then the permeability the magnetic properties which has one because our, let's say your material is non-magnetic material okay we assume the magnetic properties is one and then the c will be the speed of light and we have like lambda is equal to c over f okay the frequency and i here is equal to square root minus one um this one doesn't affect so i will show you this doesn't affect when you run it then you put a marker okay it's like 11.47 it's like negative 40.25 let's say i remove this one Okay, and run it again you should get that same answer okay so it's the same so this one doesn't affect and the d will be like 0 0.004 because it's the thickness of your material in here is like using meter that's why our thickness is 0 0.004 is millimeter four millimeter convert to meter okay and a will be the square root of permeability divided with permittivity okay i will explain here why we have all of this okay so from here we have the calculation i will show you step by step okay so you can see here we have like the mut and the metal material here metal back plate is the zl and the MUT is like Z1 and the impedance for the A will be for the free space will be equal to square root over absolute of permeability and the absolute of the permittivity and then if you calculate this you will get 377 ohm here okay and then for the impedance for the MUT will be the free space the square root of the permeability one and the dielectric constant one okay of the MUT so you will get the impedance Z1 here so I can show you something like this okay so for the impedance Z1 is equal to actually you can see from here when you move out you will have equal to square root and then square root okay then you will have 377 here and here will be this okay sometimes you will see like 120 pi because if you multiply it you will get like near to 37699 something like this okay so now we understand how to get the impedance for the mut and the impedance of the free space for this case zl is equal to zero okay why because Matter is short, so short our impedance is 0 ohm. Okay, next. You always saw something like 20 log z in minus with z naught and z in plus with z naught. So it's something always you saw is like when we find our return loss, then will be like 20 log. ZL minus Z0 and ZL plus with Z0, something like this. Okay, so it's the same thing. So I will show you how to calculate this, how to get this. And then here. So let's say we change it to linear. 
okay, without the db, so we remove the 20 log here. So we have set in minus set node and set in plus set node. So next will be z in equal to this, the whole thing. So you can see now z in is equal to this. Okay, so we can see like z node, square root of elective permeability and the elective of permittivity. Okay, so and then the tangent hash and then the imaginary part, 2 pi over c square root of permeability and uh, permittivity and the uh, frequency frequency and the thickness of the sample so the thickness of the sample is here okay so it's, it depend on the thickness as well the d and the frequency so the z node will be here okay so this one is z node okay so now we have something like this then next you will remove the z node okay it's something like we can make it z node come up with okay and then we assume the whole thing of here will be the a divide with minus one and a plus one okay we took the z node out and then we remove it okay then you can see here it's like without the z node now okay next after you get all the value then you can calculate this okay so this is the formula that i using in my MATLAB. i will explain later okay so to explain the z in i will show you this so the z in why the z in is equal to this formula okay so if you check on the impedance matching so you will have something like this z in actually is from here this part okay so z in when we have z in here we need to include the mut material and the z load okay so z in is equal to z1 okay and then this is the formula and k will be the number of wave okay so something like this so in free space this one is free space the number of wave will be without the relative permittivity and the permeability okay but when you are in mut so you need to include the material properties okay because without the material then your wave might be very smooth when with material let's say here the material okay your wave maybe have become slow okay this is why we need to include the material for this case because we are calculating the z in in the mut here okay so we know our zl is equal to zero next we put in zero here okay so we know that we can remove this one and here and we will get something like this and then after that we can remove this so in the end we will only get z in equal to z1 tangent h j k d okay and how the k will be this part okay so we can expand it so you can see from here is k is equal to 2 pi f and then we have something like this right okay then we know that speed of light is equal to 1 over square root okay so in this case we will have 1 over c that's why we have like 2 pi c over f then square root 
the bacteria properties. That's why you have this. Okay, now you should understand how to get this. And for Z1, okay, we know that we know how to get the Z1 follow this part. Okay, when we distribute it, then we will have this. So we can name this as a Z node because it's a free space and we have square root here. Okay, so you will get this part. Okay, now you understand how to get the Z in. Then we go for the calculation. I will show you. So let's go back to the coding. Okay, our coding here and put together with the formula so much easier for us to view okay so from here now you can see that why the k is 2 pi f over c and square root uh, the relative permeability and the permittivity so we have something like this okay so we have like 2 pi f c and then square root of relative permeability and the relative permittivity okay and then we have the k here okay then we put in the k and next so you can see from here is like the absolute absolute actually is the two line here okay so we putting the k to cover this 2 pi over c and until the f here then we multiply with the d so we also have the imaginary part here and then tangent h okay and you can see here actually have the square root of relative permeability and the relative permittivity so we are covered by the a here so we put the a multiply with of this okay same as the formula here so you can see here is like plus one so it's plus one here and we are repeating the same thing so the a multiply with tangent h i times with k times with d okay so you can see the return loss here in db is 20 log rl1 so the rl1 actually is the rl here okay the linear part okay they convert it to db so we can run this code now you understand the code then we can run it then we can get the value so if compare this one with the CST so if compare this with the CST yes we get almost nearby follow the theory okay so we can get like this one is like 11.34 gigahertz and here will be like 11.49 okay so once you get this, now we are proven. And then how to calculate the microwave absorption, you can get, let's say, we can calculate this reflectivity to microwave absorption. So let's say we the easier way, we can just take the S11 here, negative 48.21. So we can put it in here, S11 equal to negative 48.21 dB. So in linear will be 0 0.00388. Okay, so this one is in dB. So in linear will be S11 equal to 0 0.0038. Okay, double confirm. 388. Okay, so how are we going to get this actually is you can calculate this like S11 dB equal to 20 log S11. Okay, so let's say we have negative 48.21 here equal to 20 log S11 and then we are going to like S11 equal to 10 power of negative 48.21 divided with 20. Okay, if you calculate this, you will get like 0 0.00388.
six nine five six okay so s one one in linear so you get nearby this value and then next how to calculate the micro absorption you can say that the micro absorption is a okay a is the micro absorption okay we can name it f so shin. okay so it's equal to one minus minus v s one one power two minus v s two one power two but unfortunately we don't have this because we are using metabolic plate so metabolic plate here and your mut okay this one is your mut and then we don't have the port two here okay so we only have port one so we only have s11 okay so it's equal to one minus the one actually is 100 percent of your signal okay your incident signal incident signal divide with 100 so you get one okay then minus with 0 0.003885 power 2 you will get 0 0.99998 okay something like this why i just now mentioned is like 99.998 percent is like because this one is absorption so if you want to calculate absorption to percentage okay in percentage then you need to 0 0.9998 multiply with 100% okay then you will get 99.998% okay here you go so you will get your microabsorption of your material at this specific point is 99.998 that means in 11.34 gigahertz is 99.998% microabsorption okay so yeah i think you are you can understand now so let me show you another thing will be so this is another thing i want to show you some article you will saw it they are using something like rl db equal to 20 log z in minus with one z in plus with one okay they are getting the same thing because okay so you can see my one is like sec minus with sec not okay they are getting the same thing because they are z in is equal to they simplify it they get it like without the z not without the z not here so that means right the answer will getting the same so uh, I assume this one is like the K F D. Okay. So you will get the same answer because in the end here you can see it's same as this. They define their Z in is equal to this formula. Okay. So minus is one and plus with one is the same. But if their Z in is equal to Z naught, then they cannot directly put in equal to minus one and plus one. Okay, so this one you just need to take note some article they put like different formula but if you can understand this then then it should be fine okay so that's all for how to compare the simulation and the calculation to get for the microabsorption okay guys thank you